the goal of the, the simulation and the simulators is to hold people as much as possible in the five sense level of awareness, that which directly interacts with the simulation at this level, the five senses, kind of touch it, see it, hear it, and all that stuff. And to process all sense of reality through the five senses. And not to realize that the five senses are simply part of the trap. The body is part of the trap. The body is designed to interact with the simulation. Sim simple uh, uh, analogy. You put the headset on. That's you entering a physical body. The headset in a virtual reality game. Now, you are being fed information through the headset that then starts to dictate your reality. You see people, they're standing in a room, maybe a studio like this, whatever, room like this, and suddenly they're going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And you're standing there, what the hell's going on? Their reality is being dictated by the information being fed from the headset to the brain. And if you look at what a simulation is doing, when they put the gloves on, and they put the headset on, and they put the audio on, what is a virtual reality game doing? It's overriding the five senses and feeding them a different source of information, which they then decode into a reality that means that they think it's real. But with a virtual reality game headset, you have the ability to go, whoa. The world's not like this. Imagine you're born with a headset on. You go through your life with a headset on. You go to your, quote, grave with a headset still on. What's going to dictate your sense of reality your entire life? The headset, the simulation. And what we, um, what we are looking at in terms of the reality we experience is precisely that, except on a far greater, massively more advanced level.